Hey everyone, I'm back here doing another EverQuest video and playing my Necromancer, whom I haven't really been playing or at least doing videos for in a long while. Um, I'm I'm here in Sky Shrine. I did a video here with my with my Enchanter a while back, um, and thought that I would do one with the Necromancer too. So fighting here as a Necromancer, you're killing a bit slower than the Enchanter, but um, still very effectively. Mm, and the good thing about this place is that everything can be feared. Uh, at least all the stuff we'll be killing. So we'll be fear kiting. Just something to pet here. Just gonna turn off the volume because I was getting game volume, but I don't think it's gonna be be recorded anyways, so all right, so basically, <clears throat> I'm going to be showing you this using a lot of nice clicky items that I have amassed over the years playing this Necromancer, which basically means well, this, this won't really be costing me mana, which is really cool. The only clicky I don't really have is the Fear Staff, um, Staff of the Dreaded Gaze. And so I'm going to be starting with this worm here, J-Oak. But as you see it down the bottom, the other worm is just passing through. I just, I don't want to get both. Alright, I'm going to pull with Splurt. I'm just going to pull him back a bit. Whoops. Tell Pet to back off. Alright, and send Pet in. And I'm going to snare using the Epic. And then I'm going to try and stick fear. Once fear is on, I'm going to swap my epic with the VP stick and try and stick that one. Actually, I'm going to, it's going to run out of range. It's a long casting time on that one. And after I land soul well, Oh no. Huh. That's no good. Where did it go? I actually tried that before. It must have gone in here, right? Yeah. Oh no. That is the first time that's ever happened to me. So this is going to be a reset. Uh, I think at least. Unless we get really... I'm going to try and salvage. Yeah, nah, never mind. Brew is wearing off. So, my pet took uh, a Valiant Sacrifice here, made a Valiant Sacrifice. I click off Demi Leech. Wow, that's, that's crazy. I've never had uh, that worm warp through the wall like that. Um, gonna have to wait for everything to wear off the worm. Especially the snare. So, this spot here is one of a few spots where you can solo either as a, a necro or a, a chanter. You can solo here as a shaman, but I wouldn't want to. Uh, each kill is just going to take forever. And the drop rates are, are like really mind numbingly low. Having said that, I got so lucky. Uh, two nights ago, I got the uh, the amazing Worm Lord Shawl uh, after having been here on and off for about four years. So, finally got it, got it on my Enchanter, and I thought, now nah, I'm going to try and see if I can get it on the Necromancer. Alright, I'm going to try and stand up here, and yeah, we've, we've lost aggro, so i going to summon a new pet, hope it's a blue one. Oh, hang on. I'm going to need to unequip the staff, 
because it's a two-hander. Equipping the focus book from hate to get a more beefy pet. And let's see. I'm just going to J boots real quick. Uh, haste my pet and it's dark blue so at least I don't think that doesn't necessarily mean it's max level but it's not the the baby pet sometimes you get a green one all right let's try again uh, I would I think I should get that fear staff I've been sort of holding off on getting it just because it used to be like back when I was playing my Necro more than I am now. Um, it, it was like a 30, 40k item at one point. And there's just no way I'm, I was going to camp it myself. Because uh, it drops off of Salgos and Chaosora. But it's like an ultra, ultra rare drop. So anyways, wasn't going to do that. And just didn't want to pay that much for that effect. Um, yeah, but now I think it's a lot cheaper. It's like nine, ten k. So maybe, maybe I'll, I'll get it. Just, cause it'd be fun. Okay. I'm gonna. I hope it doesn't do the whole warping through the wall again. Like I said, that's never really happened before, uh, for me. So, it'd be kind of weird if it happened twice, unless something has changed. Like within the last couple of days. All right, so stuck the soul well. Then I'm going to I'm going to click this bracer which has a 500 uh point of damage fired nuke that uh, turns the mob into a skeleton. So it's not really something you want to be doing on raids because it changes the melee box of the mob. Actually going to redo fear. Um it's funny though, you'll see now once it uh, once it wears off, whoops, the scale illusion, the worm has has changed colors and it's now red. That works for dragons too, which is pretty neat. So like any dragon becomes like the Nagafin Talandor model once you've had it into a skelly. Alright, so I'm gonna flop here because it allows me to maintain my faction, which is neat. Okay. All right, it's 9.42. We're gonna see how fast I can go through them because the, the respawn time is 30 minutes. And um, it would be nice to get as much as possible done in that 30 minutes. I'm gonna go with the first wear in here. This was the one that dropped me the shawl yesterday, or sorry, the two days ago. Could it really drop another one? Probably not. But this is super casual, chill stuff, and almost foolproof. You'd, you'd be really hard pressed to die here. Um, I think I said in the other video, I, I, I wish I had learned about this place before my Necro was 60, because then I might have gone to XP here on him. But, uh, <clears throat> I didn't. And, I mean, the, the XP is not amazing, but it's pretty steady, and there's a bunch of stuff you can get here, some uh, less amazing than other things, but still pretty decent. You make a little bit of I'd say a decent bit of money doing this camp. All right. I really like this bracer. You get two clicks off it. It's like 1k damage. Uh, uh, yeah, free, which is, yeah, that's where you want to be, right? Free damage. Alright, not sure I should be channeling through this, I'm gonna, instead I'm just gonna flop now. Yep. 
Come on. So, there are four wyverns in this room. Or, sorry, wyverns. I've learned to, that they are pronounced wyverns. So, there are four wyverns in this room. And, see, this one is connected to this one. And when I say connected, I mean they are close enough to each other to aggro if you pull one of them. But you can pull this one over here. It's weird. I don't know, because it kind of looks like they are... You know, you know, in a equal distance, but uh, they are not. All right. All right, I'm gonna send in the pet. Yeah, so like I said, super chill. Not even sure how long of a video it's going to make sense to make over this. So yeah, usually you'll find chanters or necros here, and then you'll find like... Uh, <clears throat> People have, like, see, there's a little five enchanter here. Now, obviously, that, that might be because someone is getting a multi-quest done on, on a piece of armor, but it might also be that um, people camp, they get faction, and they run their low-level low mobs here, or, sorry, characters here, and they'll, they'll camp them in the hopes of getting to loot something that, that was going to rot, because these mobs have, like, huge loot tables, and some of the items are no-drop, and some of the items are really you know quite good um there's like an enchanter mask here that is pretty nice and there's uh there's like um a wisdom cloak like a back item that is also pretty good it's called greater's cloak all right So once you get, you, you you finish these four wyverns, there are four more up this ramp, and then there's a teleporter to some more mobs. All right, I'm going to split these, and for anyone that is unfamiliar with how Snare and Feign Death uh, can help you split mobs, I'm going to show you. Most of you probably know, but... So what you want to do is, you want to cast your epic on the mob you're going to kill. And we're going to kill this guy. And we're going to pull them over here. And wait a bit, and then we're going to flop. <clears throat> so what's going to happen is this other guy, Qualk Nick, he's going to path back once he loses interest in what he was chasing. Once a mob gets back to its spawn point, it will have lost aggro. But the other guy, the one we uh, we snared, he, when he loses interest, is not going to path back because he will be snared, so he'll just stand in, in his place. So, all we have to do is wait for this, uh, the unsnared one to path all the way back. And I'll stand up. There we go. I'll stand up, and the mob we were killing, it's going to take one tick of damage from our snare, and it's going to come. There we go. Alright. Send in the pet. Cast Splurt. Gonna actually redo the fear. Oh, sorry, not the fear, the snare, because, uh... Yeah, it might have, it will be sort of close to wearing off, or at least getting kind of close. I'm going to fear, and then I'm going to put on the soul well.
All right, hang on. Let's go click the bracer. And fear, and then bracer one more time. So this is this campus like a necromancer heaven. As you can see, I'm not really losing any mana. I'm actually going to try something funny. I'm gonna equip this bone shear I got a while back and see if I can get some bone chips. It's a little bit of a gimmick. And didn't get any there. You have to remember to to turn off attack, it's not something you're really used to when you feign death as a necromancer because you're not really used to having auto attack on. Yeah, but this bone shear thing, it procs, uh, it has a proc that summons one bone chip that's not, no rent, so it's permanent. I mean, it is what it is, it's not amazing, but it's it's, it's a fun item and it's it's pretty nice. I like having access to or I, I like not having to go to East Com lands uh, and figure out how to get bone chips. Um, having said having said that, you still need to get to EC to get Peridots for your pet. So yeah, I don't know. So I believe we've been going for about 10 minutes now. If I could misremembering the start time, I think it was 9.42. Reapply fear. But yeah, the fear staff, I mean, one thing is to be like a completist. Uh, Another thing is that it's it, it saves you spell uh, like a spell gem. You can you can take off um, the 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 invoke fear spell, so that's nice. But in terms of mana, it's not it's not like the hundred mana I'm using for fear is is a sort of a, a, a real cost. Oops, I forgot to feign death. Yeah, the faction hits here is, aren't like huge. All right, so we're ready to run up the ramp now. I think it's probably about time that I rebuff my pet with uh, augment death. Okay, so four uh, Wyverns up here. One is down this path here, and it paths along this hallway and down here. So I'm gonna start with that one, because the other three we need to split. They're sort of standing on top of each other, almost. Now here I have actually had the mob uh, walk off of this. What what we're actually standing on is a bridge, and below this bridge, I don't know if we can see it. Probably can't. Uh, oh yeah, we can actually. It's the pond area. So this is the the pond is sort of right here, and this is the 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 gate we ran through to get here. And once you use the skelly illusion on on this mob, and it it drops off the skelly illusion. I mean. The, the the wyvern will be will be sort of small, and it'll sort of glitch and be jumping a bit, and it can sort of morph over this uh, rampart here on the wall and uh, on the bridge and fall down, and that will eventually lead to just a giant train. But it's happened like once or twice in quite a few sort of uh, runs, so I'm not too overly worried about it. But it's just something to be aware of.
And even if that happens, just, you know, thanks to the glory of the necromancer, we can just swap, redo, or do a, make a do-over. All right, I'm going to flop here. Okay, so here we have these three. I'm just going to show you. And um, we want to split them. So we're going to do what we did before. We're, we're going to fear. Oh, sorry, not fear. Snare, I mean. And flop. Sometimes you get the, the epic resisted, and it's a bit of a bummer, but it's not too bad. Okay, so the two unsnared ones are going to come at us, and we just want to wait for long enough for the snared one to be stopping far enough away from their original spawn point to to not um, sort of re-aggro them, social aggro-wise. All right, so they're pathing back and it's, yeah. I think the epic lasts for like a minute and a half or two minutes or something. So it's, you've got enough time to, to, to wait and just be, be patient. It's better to be, to wait like a, an extra 10 seconds and then not have to do it one more time because it's a little bit of, a little bit time consuming. Oh, dead man floating, fading. We'll have to, See about that. All right, I think they're probably just about to reset. I'm gonna stand up here. Hopefully, only get the one guy. Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna try and stick splurt here. Stick fear and probably redo epic. No, oh, good timing. Let me try and stick soul well. Now, obviously, if this feared mob decides to roam towards its brethren standing over there, you're, you're going to want to root him. But seeing as he didn't, it's not really needed. Not sure. I think he's going to, yeah, no, he's going to walk sort of, oops, got stunned. I was going to say he, he was going to walk down the ramp and be sort of out of line of sight, so I had to duck. Alright, I think I'm not going to do anything else here. I'm just going to redo my dummy buffs. Oops. Ah, damn it, I forgot to flop. And again, it uh, doesn't matter, I'm like pretty far towards max ally anyways so a few hits won't really matter it'll happen anyways you do it you, you it's almost impossible to completely avoid taking a faction hit here every now and again just because you know fd will fail or whatever and i'm lazy so i keep demi 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 lich um permamend obviously i'm not min maxing my spell gems here All right, actually, I'm not gonna snare this time, seeing as it's only two. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, 
I'm going to root one guy and pull the other one away. So pulling it to here and feign death, you can stand up immediately because as soon as you feign death, if the mob is at the spawn point, it will have instantly forgotten you. So that's pretty handy. Don't walk out of line of sight, man. Don't do it. Ah, well. That was the feeling of just vomiting ever so slightly into my mouth. All right. So, should I try and get a bone chip or two, huh? Probably should also be igniting its bones. Oh, someone hailed me. A guildy, I think. Asking if I want a buff. Um, I'm just going to DMF my buddy here. Yeah, so I'm ju I just asked my Gilly if he was running up to do an armor turn in. So this is the um, where we're fighting is sort of on the way towards. Um, well, it's uh, towards a couple of things. First of all, it's the way towards Yellinak, but it's also the way towards the uh, the armor quest guys uh, for the um, Sky Shrine armor turn ins. But it's like a long run from where we are. The Sky Shrine is just a huge, huge zone. Alright, so as you can see, the mob is still rooted. Oh, never mind. There we go. I was going to say, you can, all, you can just root rot if you want. But they have, like, big regen and a lot of hit points. And fear cutting, it actually makes you appreciate how much the damage your pet is doing when it's getting to punch the, something in the back. Gonna reapply fear. I'm sorry if this isn't the most interesting of videos, but it's just something I've been wanting to do for a while and finally got around to doing it. And hopefully I'll get something to drop as well. Or even get this bone shear to, to actually proc. Guess not. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Your blade strikes deep, shearing off a chip of bone. That's nasty. Alright. Alright, so we've killed everything up there. And I think we've got like 
eight minutes till stuff spawns. So normally I would keep going if I was on my chander anyway. So I'd keep going over here onto this pad here that teleports you down into this room. So you've got one, two, three, four, and another one that's standing sort of underneath us. Five, I think. Wyverns, and you got a shambling cube that's shambling somewhere around here, up this ramp, down this ramp, into this room, and then you got a gargoyle guard up here. Sometimes the shambling cube is going to be like a super cube. When I did my video with my enchanter, I was charming the um, the large Velium statue, and that summons and hits for like 212. I have since then been made aware of this super cube that sometimes spawns. And what makes it super is that it hits for 199 points of damage, and it does not summon. So that's pretty amazing. It is, however, unmissable. I tried with Rapture, but couldn't be missed. So anyways. Alright, so I'm going to kill the Paladin worm here. And then I'm going to kill the Shambling cube in the, in the corner. Oops. The annoying thing about the plaid mob here, Larynth, is that it usually gets off one or two dispels on your pet. So you, usually you'll have to uh, like reapply the haste buff. Hopefully it won't walk into this cube, but we'll see. So yeah, this is the only caster mob in this place. Um, at least, you know, among the stuff that we kill. So, the only one where you really have to worry about that. It, it casts small heals on itself, it tries to root you, and it, uh, it, it dis dispels. Might cast a few other sort of low-level Paladin spells. These two worms, they quite often, uh, actually, gonna flop. These two worms, they quite often cast, or uh, sort of drop these, um, these tomes, these books, that I think I, I, I wikied them once and they're from, they're for like a, a wizard or a magician uh, quest. Yeah, this is not good, but something. I'm not going to bother looting it. It's practically worthless. Okay. Let's kill this cube here. And after this cube, we've got like a couple of minutes before the first worm spawns if my timing is on on point anyways and if you've seen my chanter video you actually know because that wasn't that I, I didn't have the super cube if you have the super cube in your enchanter you can kill everything in here in like I don't know like 20 minutes 25 minutes Probably 25, actually. I just need to remember the first mob spawning right about the time that you're done with the last one and you're running back. Oh, man. I was interrupted. I started moving. That was dumb. Um, but that includes another four, eight cubes that are downstairs, as well as 
the five wyverns, wyverns, the one, cu actually not the cube, because that's the one you're charming, but, um, and the gargoyle guard, gargoyle guard past the teleporter, so. I don't think we've been ineffective as such on this run here with our necromancer, so. It just goes to show that the enchanter here is, is a bit more sort of effective. Oops. Well, that was dumb. I saw some yellow text and thought that uh, I'd gain XP. All right. Well, I think I'm going to call it on the video. So thanks a lot for watching if you stuck through and even if you didn't. But I hope uh, I hope to be back making some more uh, EQ videos at some point. All right. Bye-bye.